And Peckham has been around since the 1700s as a village, as, as an agricultural and orchard growing area. Then as it became consumed by the, by the city, more working classes moved into the area and these Victorian um, streets were built up. And you know, then the docking community moved in, the people that used to work in the docks and the printers from Fleet Street moved into the area. And Rye Lane was a, was a very, very thriving uh, retail destination in South London. I love Peckham. The building we're in today is full of creative industry people, young people predominantly, um, who uh, see Peckham in one way. There's of course the Afro-Caribbean and West African communities here. Uh, they give it a very strong, colourful character, particularly on Rye Lane. Um, and then there's a lot of residential people, you know, people just have lived here for a very long time. So trying to find a way that, that reflects all of those things has been really the key challenge. And I've never experienced a place where there has been such a sense of community as around here. This is the kind of area where people, you know, I walk slowly, I have a walking stick and people will stop me in the street for a chat. Um, the big stores like Marks and Spencer's, CNA's, British Home Stores, uh, Sainsbury's and so forth, they're all, they're gone. We have more smaller shops now, but we need more community mixture now in Peckham. So in other words, we need more like black, white, different, you know, doing different things. It'll bring more people inside Peckham. And over the two years, we've, we've, we've got so many more clients now. We're busy all the time, whereas at the start, we weren't too busy. So for us, it's, it's great. The change is, is good. It may have a knock-on effect on some people, but this is how it is. I just noticed um, some graffiti uh, which I liked because it was colourful, and then I, and I noticed the message, which was it, was it was a picture of a baby or something, with a guy with pink sunglasses, and it says something like, uh, "We hate, I hate the new Peckham," and I thought that was interesting. I've lived in this area for just under two years, and um, I'm very aware that I've moved into an area that is undergoing some change, like everywhere in London. Many people around this area, with a station. Is they lost the business and many people jobless here. For the last six months, the Peckham area business is going down, down, down. We don't have much customer like before, which one have to spend a lot of money in the food. <laughs> House prices have, in one word, completely shot up. Completely shot up. It's come to a point where people can't afford to live in Peckham anymore. I like the changes in Peckham at the moment. Um, but at the rate it's going, I don't know if I will enjoy it in like five years' time, if it's too commercial, too uh, popular. We don't want Peckham to be just a place for Africans, Jamaicans, Caribbeans. No, it, that's not the thing. Diversity is good. Whereas um, changes for the future is concerned, um, right now, to be honest, it's looking bleak. Gentrification, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. The problem is, is when you have um, big businesses that don't really ha had no involvement with the area before. It's fine that new new spaces are getting a new lease of life with you know different businesses, but it's more about independent businesses rather than about big companies. We need to see the changes. No one knows. No one knows. Bring the changes on. As long as they don't price us out because they want to kick us out.